Hello fellow YouTubers, it's me Tom Verzel here and today I'm doing a video on things that scared me as a kid. Never done one of these before. Okay, this isn't a new topic for me, but I haven't done one in years and those videos are pretty crap now so I feel the need to do one how I would nowadays. Plus it's Halloween or just being Halloween depending on when I get this project done, so I think it's about time. Everything scared me as a kid, literally. Even if I didn't act scared, you can almost bet there was a sense of dread or paranoia in me for almost everything. And to be fair, nothing's changed in that respect. Anyway, so for this video I've decided to change things up a bit. I'm not including horror or things that are meant to be freaky, so no grizzly tales or courage the cowardly dog. Also, one entry per franchise, since if not then this list would mostly be Mario games or something like that. I'm not going to be talking about Majora's Mask either, since that game scared me so much, it would make this video so long, and I don't know if including it is intentionally creepy, you know, since I'm not including things that are creepy on purpose, I feel like this game gets excluded for that, so no Majora's Mask either. So without further ado, this is Tom Versal's Top 10 Things That Scared Him As A Kid. Excluding Majora's Mask. And, um... Countless other things. Anyway, let's get into it. Ever played Lilac Wars? This game was a sequel to the decent Star Wing. Okay, both better known as Star Fox and Star Fox 64. This game is a classic. It's a gem. It is so fun. Until the final boss, Andros. This guy scared me so much as a kid. Even more than some of us on this list further on. So why is he this low? Well, because I feel this is one many people will relate to, whereas the others are sort of unique to me. Anyway, this guy starts off in an eerie green room as an enormous floating... um... monkey head? I don't know. But it freaked me out as a kid. He is massive and threatening and he's so totally different to anything else in the game, and he's very different from the one on the predecessor where he just looked cool as hell to me. What the hell is this? Once you drain his health enough, he becomes a floating pair of eyeballs and a brain. Yeah, yeah. Still floating in that ominous green room. Screw Andros, he was the cause of many nightmares as a kid for me. For the same reason as Andros, this is low because it's not exactly unique to me for being scared of this, but boy oh boy, trust me, this did scare me. What am I on about? Return to Oz. Need I say more? The Wizard of Oz, one of the most adventurous, chipper and fun movies ever, eventually got a sequel called Return to Oz. This sequel is the polar opposite, believe me. Dorothy going through electroshock therapy, the munchkins being turned to stone, Princess Mombi and her screaming heads, the Rock King, and... Ugh, the Wheelers. The God. Damn wheelers. This film was the epitome of fear for me as a kid. I wouldn't ever have the guts to even watch a scene of this movie. It just haunted me. Nowadays, I actually really love the movie, probably even more than the first. But for a kid's movie, this does not hide anything. Thanks, Disney. You've caused many nightmares for me and thousands of other kids around the world. I hope you're proud. Adverts in the late 2000s, early 2010s were weird as hell but they are very nostalgic to me these days. They'd show kids enjoying their toys with overly happy songs and even happier children. One thing that was a trend around this era really in the UK was gross toys. Things like gross magic, those baby dolls that peed, gooey Louie, just, you know, crap like that. So when I saw this advert, I was in such disbelief at what kids' toys were becoming. You can hold them like a baby and he'll make you sound. Scruffy Scruff is your pal. You can feed him and he'll eat, then he'll leave a surprise. Just like a real baby. Scruffy Scruff is your pal. He likes it when you tickle him and squeeze him tight. And he'll always keep you safe when you sleep at night. Scruffy Scruff, Scruffy Scruff is your pal. Scruffy Scruff. Diapers not included. I will be. Okay. Later on I found out that that ad is actually fake and plays at the end of the Aquabats episodes. Which one of those scared me too, where they're fighting against giant ants. However, not about that today. 
I didn't know that at the time though, and I was just thinking that it was real. This one didn't really scare me though, it just shocked me really, it disturbed me, and I just, I couldn't believe what I just saw. It is freaky, and thinking it's real is even worse. But it's higher up, because it's more unique than the last two to me. I don't ever hear anyone talking about this. Can I include this? Screw it, this is my list. Jaws 3. Yes, I said no horror, but this film is so crap it's barely horror, and it wasn't any of the horror in the movie that scared me. What scared me was this. Yeah, a fish head. A poorly animated, floating fish head. I don't know why this scared me, but it did. More than a lot of things related to Jaws. I suppose it must be that area of Uncanny Valley that it just twitches in your mind if you sort of get me. It just freaked me out, it creeped me out and yeah, not much to say but this fish head kept me up at least twice as a child. Pathetic. Christmas is the greatest time of year. But not for me. Okay, just kidding, it still is, but many Christmas movies creep me out. The Marley Brothers in The Muppets Christmas Carol especially. But what I'm talking about today is the littlest light on the Christmas tree. Similarly to the Jaws 3 incident, the reason this freaked me out was the animation. The animation here is bloody atrocious, it is so bad that it just strikes a nerve and sends chills up your spine. Another reason I hated this movie as a kid was that on the main menu it's silent then randomly a little kid giggles. That sort of stuff doesn't usually bother me, but in this instant, on a DVD menu, not expecting it at all, it really freaked the hell out of me. I doubt many have even heard of this film, but if not then check it out. It has a decent message, sure, but the animation is so awful that you'll be unsettled, but also laughing your ass off. Just remember to mute the TV for the main menu. I think everyone has something in Super Mario 64 that scared them as a child. From the eel to the piano, leaf of lava hand and, oh god, the big floating Mario head. Numerous things scared me, but I have chosen the pokies from Shifting Sandland for this list. Because nobody, and I mean nobody, ever mentions these for being scary in Super Mario 64. They usually go for the ones that I mentioned before, the eel, the piano, lethal avalanche and all that, but just look at these! They're freaky as hell and with the draw distance in Mario 64, they would often not show up until you were close, which acted kinda like a jump scare. These scared the hell out of me as a kid, to the point that I would avoid this level, or most of the time anyway, and if I did play this level I would usually try to get the camera so low that I would almost entirely avoid these evil faces but usually it didn't, and I would often end up scared. Yet, yeah, I say it, these are scarier than the eel, these are scarier than the piano, and these are almost as scary as you. You big fat Mario head thing. Okay, I'm rambling, let's move on. In the UK, we have many adverts that go out there to scare you, and they usually work. Especially as a kid, and yes, a few of them creeped me out, but these ones by Fink scared me the most. The girl who didn't dress bright in the dark. She always liked to look her best, so didn't wear a nice bright vest, or any clothing that was bright, when she was out at nearly night. But traffic couldn't see her see. And now she isn't so trendy. A car drove right into her guts and covered her with bruisey cuts. They portray an almost Tim Burton style kid on a gloomy foggy street getting hit by a vehicle. The moral of these commercials was for children to stop look and listen before crossing a road and then when it's safe to cross. And it's safe to say that these adverts did work, however they were so strange though because they'd freak me out but I'd always want to watch them. Again, not sure if I should include this because it's supposed to teach road safety through fear, but I just had to because not enough people know about these ones and they really should be well known. 
because they're just so well done and get the job done. But these did creep me out as a kid and creeped countless of us out too. This bellend was in too many nightmares as a kid. Look at him. Do I even have to say anything? For context, this is the puzzler from a cartoon called The Numberjacks. He may not be scary now, to be honest. I think it's funny. But as a kid, this guy literally haunted my dreams. What does he do? He chases you down, traps you in a bubble, and worst of all, he makes you do maths. The reason this guy scared me is probably the fact that he never stops chasing you. He will chase and chase until he gets you. And being chased is still one of my phobias. I just cannot stand the feeling of it at all. The animation doesn't help. It's not the worst, but it's still uncanny. He even has a face that comes off his head, and his voice is sort of pedophilic. Well, who did this? Now let me see. Oh, I remember. It was me! Well, I wouldn't have known that as a kid. Okay, I think I'm overthinking this guy. I'd best move on. SpongeBob scared everyone, much like Mario 64. There are a lot of things here that I could have included, but I had to include this one. Just one bite. This episode was too much for me as a kid. It's not even scary, and in fact, it didn't even always scare me. But I don't have a clue what it was, just randomly one day after watching a strange YTP on it, I could never watch the episode. I can now, but this scene... Are you sure? Does this look unsure to you? No. Good. Now go spread... ...was so unexpected, and even when I did expect it, it was still creepy. Eventually, it got to the point where if I even heard the title card music for this episode, I would just change channel. This was the only episode I felt this strongly towards, and it's ridiculous because it's not even a horror episode in any way, but I just hated seeing it. I guess you just aren't rational when it comes to fear as a kid, and my number one pick proves that entirely. I am just going to play what scared me the most. This is it. Yeah, that. No, I'm not kidding. The BBC DVD title card, or just the BBC intro as I'm going to call it, scared me a lot as a kid. Like, a lot. And it isn't rational. It's embarrassing, but it's here because it's how I was. And still to this day, it's the only one on this list that still unsettles me, and I just can't understand why. Out of every title card, this one did it for me. If I had a DVD with this on it, I just wouldn't watch it. Unless there was a possible way for me to skip instantly to the menu, like on my old Little Britain or Doctor Who DVDs. I freaking hated this thing. I was once having a discussion with my friend Bacon Jack, link to his channel in the description, as to why this would scare me. He said maybe the song uses binaural beats. I don't know if this is true. It certainly is weird that this freaked me out so much since nothing really happens and it still to this day unsettles me. Like, I don't get why. It, there's nothing scary about it, but it scared the hell out of me as a kid. If you know anything on the topic, then please comment down below because this really does interest me. And if you were scared of this as well, please let me know because other than in the comments of it, it doesn't seem many people find this creepy, but I don't know. It is pretty weird. Anyway, those are my top 10 picks. They were actually in order of scariness, just sort of in a random order until number one. And I could have picked thousands of things. I, As I said in the intro, I was literally scared of everything as a kid. So I could have. And if you're really, really interested, you could go back and watch my old videos on this. They're very long, but you will find things that I didn't mention here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and happy Halloween to you. And if you are interested and care enough, you can write some things in the comments below that scared you as a kid as well. Hey, we might even relate. We probably will. And yes, thank you for watching. Gotta give a shout out right now to uh, Master Temple's Treasures. 
he's my dad and he does coin videos and art related videos so if you're into painting and i mean bob ross style painting or want to get into that then you can go onto his channel i'll leave a link in the description and just check him out because he does sort of pretty good paintings i would say they are really quality paintings and he teaches you how to do them through tutorials and also he does the coin collecting videos where he shows off the coins that he's collecting he gets some pretty rare coins which are interesting so if you're into that stuff then go check out his channel he needs the subs anyway thank you for watching and stay epic